Hey everybody, welcome back to the Time Pass Podcast. This is your host, Ashika. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. If you haven't done so already, please like me on Facebook at Time Pass Podcast. Follow me on Instagram at Time Pass underscore podcast. And check out the YouTube channel where you can watch all the episodes of the Time Pass Podcast. If you are an auditory listener, you can find me on your listening platform of choice. Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Apple Tunes, iTunes, whatever, Apple Music, that's what it is, Apple Music, Uh, wherever you tune into podcasts, you can find me there. So please like, follow, and subscribe on your listening platform of choice. You can now also find me on Ruckus Avenue Radio on Sundays, so check that out at ruckusavenueradio.com. All right, you guys, if you can't hear it, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, I look good, like I look okay, but um, I am recovering from being sick and my voice, unfortunately, is not back to 100%. I just feel like I am in recovery mode all the way around between um, still healing my ankle and doing PT for that and trying to recover because I fell sick. So, it has been a busy time for me and I feel like I haven't really checked in with you guys lately as far as like what's going on in my life. We've had some great episodes and things, but it is the Time Pass podcast. It is lifestyle about my lifestyle my relationships my dating um so i thought that we could use this episode as a good time to just check in and update you guys with what's going on with me actually uh my best friend fabian thought that this would be a good idea because he says it's been a while since i have checked in with you guys on just what's going on with me so Let's talk about what's been going on in my life. First of all, as I mentioned, I came back from New Orleans, which was what um, the episode was about last week, I think. I came back from New Orleans and my daughter, who did not go with me, she came home and she was sick. And when she's sick, She's just cuddly and lovey like kids are, and I'm like full-on mama bear. Like, I always take care of her when she's sick. I know exactly what to do, exactly how to handle her. Most of the time, I can get her feeling better within like 24 hours. That's an overbearing mother's love. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I, when I got home, I kind of wanted most of the day to relax and so I wouldn't be jet lagged for work the next day so I was in back in town fairly early like shortly after noon and yeah it means I woke up at like five to get on a plane in NOLA uh anyway I don't mind waking up early I'm used to it so I get back and she's here and she's like cuddly and needy and I'm fine I'm taking care of her Tuesday morning I wake up and I'm like sitting in my bathroom doing my makeup and I'm halfway through with it and I'm like my body just doesn't feel good and the thing is y'all I don't get sick a lot I really don't maybe once a year but when I get sick I go down I I go down and I'm miserable like miserable So I'm halfway getting ready with my makeup and finally I'm just like you know I know my boss he's so caring like I love my boss. He's so amazing. Um, And so I'm like, if I go into work, he is literally, like, he's also my work bestie. So he's literally going to be like, what are you doing? Go home. So I just texted and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm getting sick. I'm staying home. I have never had a fever as intense as I had. Was this last week? Yeah, last week. Um... I, I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't eat, I couldn't speak. It was that bad. Like, it, I was miserable. I, I, I thought I was telling my friends, I was like, I thought I was gonna die. Like, literally, 
I've never had a fever that bad before in my entire life to where I just felt so weak and just blah. Thankfully, uh, the fever passed within like 24, 36 hours and then I was just left recovering from that, which takes a lot out of you when your body just shuts down like that. So I spent a lot of time just kind of getting better and, you know, now I'm on the mend and no fever, nothing. I have like this residual cough left so I feel like it's just like my lungs and my throat are not a hundred percent yet um and I'm really mad because something happened yesterday that I would have normally loved and I couldn't participate because of this throat situation that I have going on uh besides that you guys know that I love traveling so yeah you heard all about New Orleans and I got back I've just I I feel like I haven't traveled a lot, especially um, since I broke my ankle last May. And so I, I only took one trip last year before I broke my ankle. And literally, I was getting ready to take this epic road trip, which I, guys, I, wanna, I want to squeeze in this epic road trip that I had to postpone last year. Um, but I was literally set to go on my road trip uh, like a week not even a week like four days it was four days away and I broke my ankle so mad about it so mad about it and then I didn't go anywhere um for all of last year because I was busy recovering I got a new job things were just crazy so it felt really good um, to take this trip to New Orleans I feel like I'm getting back into my travel mode a little bit as much as I can while still balancing my responsibilities and work and, and home life and everything I need to do. So my next trip is coming up. I, um, I just have to get through the rest of May, all of June, and a little bit of July. I'm gonna be going uh, in July. And I'm excited because I'm gonna be taking my daughter on this little trip. Uh, she likes to travel with me and she's never been to this location that we're going. I'm gonna keep it from y'all. Um, I have been several times, but she has never been. So I think she's just going to have a ball and, uh, we may have some surprise guests down there because you know me, I like, I, the more the merrier. So I like to invite people, uh, that I know that I know like to travel with me and travel well with me. So, uh, it may be a little fun trip for her and me and everybody else that's going. So that's kind of coming down the pipe. If I can squeeze in my road trip, I really want to. I just don't know when I'm going to. It's so sad, but I really want to do this for myself. I really want to take this trip, and now is like the perfect time of year because I don't have to deal with um, insane weather, and I can get through. It's kind of epic. Like it, it's a few states away. Like it, this is gonna be like my thing. So we'll see if I can squeeze that in, and if I can, then you know you'll be hearing all about it. Um, besides that, I have just been like super, super busy. Um, work is crazy busy, and some of the work that I do, um, that I volunteer with one of these uh, professional organizations, that's picking up for me a lot uh, because I'm the president this year and uh, for the little district that I'm a part of. And uh, that means a lot more responsibilities. And so it's, it's an epic year and it's been so fun. And I have a great team um, that sits on the board with me. So I'm super excited to continue that journey this year and just see what we're gonna cook up because it's gonna be amazing. I already know. Uh, besides that, I am, like I don't have enough on my plate already. I am looking into some education opportunities also. So I just feel like I am busy. Like it's so crazy how I have to schedule time in with people. Like, and basically for me to dedicate time to the show and to create content and like record reels and TikToks and things like that. Like I, I'm like Sundays like off limits. Like I, if anything, I'll wake up and I'll go to the farmer's market in the morning 
and then like don't expect to hear from me for the rest of the day until I'm like done with everything like Sunday has just become like a work a work day for me so it's um, super busy and that's just what I need to do to balance things out for myself and to make sure that I'm still committed to all my projects and that I'm giving, getting everything done to the standard uh, to a standard that I approve of and can live with and like so things are busy for me speaking of I am so embarrassed to share this with you guys but like this house was a complete disaster. Like these few months have been really hard on me just because I'm still working out and uh, I'm busy and I have like a packed social calendar. I have work events. I have family obligations and family functions also to attend. And I just feel like my home was just like I was like a hotel for a while there like literally I was just coming here um not even really cooking a lot which I love to cook but ever since I broke my ankle uh it's hard you know when I'm on my feet for eight hours at work and then I come home and I get a workout in like my like that's it like I prioritize my health so I get that workout in and so after that like I really need to elevate my foot like I have to elevate my foot every night because it still swells up like it that's what it does so I haven't been doing a lot of cooking because it just requires me to stand on my feet and I choose to use the extra energy that I have to stand to stay upright to work out versus to cook so there's just like takeout everywhere <laughs> like in the fridge like containers and you know it's just like I'm not even like I don't even know the last time I was well actually I was in a grocery store yesterday but not for myself for my mom um you know I don't I don't even know the last time like I've gone like gone grocery shopping like it's gotten to the point where I'm so busy that I'm like constantly like just ordering things like getting my groceries delivered like uh it's it's nuts the whirlwind of activity that's happened here for the past few months and so last weekend I was still recovering from being sick but I had enough energy and I dedicated my and my daughter's Saturday to just like the whole weekend actually was just about us reclaiming our home space so it felt so good like I'm OCD right so like slight OCD so I don't like things to be out of place. And like my kitchen island, which is huge, was just like, there was stuff everywhere. Like you couldn't even, you couldn't, my bathroom counters, like makeup and um, toiletries like from travel to like the whole counter was just like, <sighs> and I, I can't live like that because it's like chaotic. I think I've talked about it on the show before how, like even at work, like my desk has to be really organized. And when there are a lot of papers and things on my desk, it means that it's a stressful time for me. And so my staff would always know and they'd kind of like stay out of my way during those times just by looking at my desk. And so if someone were to come into my house and just like look at my kitchen island, they would have been like, oh, she's not in a good place. Like my, I, I think there was stuff on my kitchen table too. Like I, there was just shit everywhere. And so it was, and it was a matter of like going through stuff. I had a stack this big of just mail like mail that I had checked and just not been able to like sort through like I was just behind on everything and so Saturday my daughter and I just reclaimed our space and it feels so good this week has been amazing we were able to go to the farmer's market last Sunday and I was able to get my flowers which I love because I love to have flowers in the house all the time in every room <laughs> like I spend money on flowers. Like, I'm sorry, I, I know the flower vendor gives me a good deal though, so it's not crazy. But I just felt so good this week. And so I'm feeling much more like myself um, and much more like this is my home again. And Sunday, we even like, y'all, like I was so behind. Like I changed the water filter on my fridge for the water. I changed the air filter for the um, the furnace because 
Lord knows when the last time I changed it was, I can't even remember. Uh, here's the, okay, this is a funny story. So, most of the time, I like keep air filters in the house, and if I have like a, uh, usually it's a guy <laughs> that comes over, and it, it could be like a friend, or it could be somebody I'm dating, or whatever, but like they'll get here, and I'll be like, can you do me a favor? And they're like, yeah, what? And I'm like, can you change my air filter? And guys don't mind. Like I've always like I I probably changed it like twice myself, and I've been in this house for years. So um, so, uh, uh, so I changed it myself. We went down to the hardware store. I got the air filters. We changed it, and then I like I don't have a green thumb, you guys. I'm not like my mom. Even my daughter is much more like plant intuitive than I am. I have been good with plants in the past. I just feel like I'm at a place right now, and I have been for the few, few years where I just don't care for them. Like I love them and I like to have them in the house. So I keep buying them and then I just forget to care about them. And then they die. And so I had some sad looking plants that were dead, <laughs> that were from last year. Uh, so we went to the hardware store and um, we went to the nursery and I bought new plants and I called my handy dandy plant designer who lives across the street, my mom. And uh, she came over and she planted them for me and they are my daughter's responsibility. She loves taking care of our plants. So uh, hopefully she will take care of them and it's my job to remind her to take care of them. So it just feels good. It just feels like home again. Uh, and I, I'm really excited about that. I, it's been nuts and I just can't stand to have a chaotic environment and so to just be home and feel great and have it look great like up to my standards is amazing uh besides that i've also had some family visit uh yesterday uh i had some family in town from canada and it was nice to see them and hang out with them uh, and just kind of play DoorDash a little bit because my mom cooked and she made a ton of food and I had to go deliver food everywhere. <laughs> this is my life, y'all. Like, this is my life. Anyway, uh, besides that, my social life, it's been good, you know? Like, I feel like it, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, a friend of mine from England called and was just, like, checking in. And... Um, I was actually driving to Fabian's house and he knows Fabian. So he's just like, what would you, what are you doing today? And so I was telling him everything that we were doing yesterday. And um, he's like, huh? And I was like, you know, you know, cause he's always like, you guys are such good friends. It's, it's, it's so nice and, and refreshing. And I'm glad that you have that. Um, and I was telling him, I was like, you know, if it wasn't for Fabian, I'd probably be like at home, like being a spinster with like cats. I always like to joke and I'm like I am an introvert at heart and like everybody rolls their eyes and just laughs at me but I can be so introverted when I want to be like I can hurt I can go into full-on hermit mode and sometimes I think it's nice that I have a friend who cares about me and gets me out of the house and we do things together and, and we always have a blast so the social life has been good, you know. Um, I got to see a play this weekend, and that was nice. It was a musical, Pretty Woman the Musical, and it's really good, uh, especially if you're a Pretty Woman fan like I am. So that was fun, and there's some social events coming up uh, also besides the travel. So I'm going to be going to Bottle Rock at the end of the month, which is this huge music concert in Nampa. Um, we've got tickets, so I'll be going to that. Wish me luck and wish my ankle luck because <sighs> I remember going to Golden Sky last October and like how angry my ankle was after that day. Granted, I had just had minor surgery like a week before, so probably wasn't a smart idea to go to Golden Sky, but I don't regret it because I had an amazing time. So we'll see how I am at Bottle Rock. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be fine. Uh, and besides that, on the social calendar, it's just like, I'm a big believer of, you guys, I'm single, right? So I'm a big believer of just like doing things you love with people you love 
and that's when you meet interesting people and so I'm just kind of doing that it's been a interesting time for me I I guess we can uh, cross into this now which is what everybody wants to know is the update on my love life uh, so I'm not dating anybody y'all I'm not dating anybody I'm not even like talking to anybody I guess I'm just kind of doing me and so that's what I was talking about with my social life I'm a big believer in just like doing things you love to do with people you love and when you're doing that I just feel like you're in your element and it's a different energy and people you meet people and you'll just attract you know the right people into your life so that's just kind of where I'm at as far as the dating apps go I am still off of all the dating apps I have been off of them for over a year now I want to say and I don't regret it and I don't miss it like I honestly have enjoyed meeting the people that have been in my life in, in real life in person and um, I enjoy that a lot more because I, I as I've said previously here and I'll say it again now but I just feel like the caliber of people that I'm meeting is different and it just feels more genuine than anything that I was doing on a dating app so I'm sticking with that y'all and I think really for me you know I talk a lot about like the power of positivity it was an episode earlier this this season and um, detachment and for me I'm really it's not like yeah I can talk about detachment but I'm not like all zen about it you know I actually have to practice detachment and so for me I've really been trying to focus on mastering detachment because I am such an emotional person and I am I care about people right and so I think for me, like this last sort of connection, whatever you want to call it, I was in, um, I really have taken time off since then uh, from any sort of romantic connections because I think I just had to come to terms with it because I think, you know, you can't control how other people feel about you or just feel in general or what's going on in their life. And I think for me, I had to really focus on that. Like, what can I control? And the only thing I could control was how I reacted to how that situation went down. And, um, you know, it's been an interesting time of just trying to practice detachment and just trying to reaffirm that like everything happens for a reason and it's not that person's fault that I felt a stronger connection to them than they did to me like that's not of any fault that's not his fault that's that's me that's how I felt and so I think I had to come to terms with that and just kind of realize that like, yes, this is how you felt. This isn't how this person felt and just process all of that a little bit. And, and then just be able to get back to a place of like kindness and just friendliness. Cause I would consider this person a friend, um, and just try to be cordial. And I don't know, you never know, you know, what the future holds and it just wasn't what I had hoped it would be. So I think for me, the last few months have been really uh, about practicing detachment and just being positive because I do firmly believe that like what's meant for you isn't gonna miss you. And, and who knows what that means for any of us and any connections that we have, so it's just a matter of, I guess, trusting the universe, right? Like that knowing that the universe has your back and just trusting that what's meant for you isn't going to miss you. So let go. <laughs> just let go and uh, move on. So, you know, it's been that sort of a time for me, I guess. 
So there isn't anybody. Sorry guys, I am sans love interest right now, I guess you could say. I'm just still just trying to, I feel like anytime, anytime there's like a failed connection, I feel like I saw a lot of potential and yeah, I kind of have to mourn that a little bit and then I can move on from it. But part of that moving on process for me is like reclaiming myself. So like reclaiming my space, um, doing things I love, like getting back into the traveling, uh, dating myself, like making sure that I'm, you know, going out and doing social things, hanging out with people who love and support me. Like that is how I build myself back up after a failed connection. And so that's kind of where I've been focused. Self-care, baby. Self-care, self-love. Like, that's where I have been. That's where my head has been at. Uh, and like I said, it's just trusting the universe, you know? Things will play out the way they're meant to play out, and I can't control any of it except for myself. And what comes to me will come to me and then I'll handle it the, to the best of my capability at that moment, you know? So yeah, it's been an interesting time. I would say the beginning of the year wasn't great for me, I would say. I was probably in a pretty dark place, just like a sad place probably. Um, I think I felt defeated a little bit. Uh, so it's it's been nice to kind of reclaim myself a little bit and focus on those things and just getting back to a place of being me and being okay with it just being me. And it's not easy to do, right? It's not easy to do. So I have to really make a conscious effort to detach and remind myself that I trust the universe and these things that I say, I actually believe them. Like I do believe that things that are meant for you are not gonna miss you. So there's nothing that you need to do. Like it's just the same way, like if somebody wants to be in your life, they're gonna be in your life. So don't do anything, just let go and live your life. Trust the process, try to make the best of it uh, and just love on yourself. Cause I've had to do a lot of loving on myself lately and it's been good. I almost feel like myself again. So that's really nice. That's where I'm at, you guys. That's what's new with me. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a process. Everything's a process. Nobody has it figured out 100%. So you grow through what you go through is a good motto. And I firmly believe in that. I don't know. That's all I got. I mean, I don't, I don't have any other, that's been a nut, in a nutshell, what's been going on in my life recently. And if you have any questions, you can reach out and ask me and I'll do my best to answer. You can always email me timepasspodcast at gmail.com. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, timepass underscore podcast, message me on Facebook, uh, at timepasspodcast, message me on TikTok, whatever you want to do. I am available in here. You can also send me a message through my website, timepasspodcast.com. That's my update, y'all. That's all I got for you today, you guys. If you haven't done so already, please like me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I think that's all of them. YouTube! <laughs> like me everywhere. Follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check me out on Ruckus Avenue Radio. And do me a favor, if you're a fan of the show, please share this show with one person. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna rest my voice because I need to, oh, this I promised to tell you this story. Last night, I was at a karaoke bar and I really wanted to sing and I knew I couldn't and like I'm like conscious about it because I don't want to do a shitty job of singing. So I was just like sitting there the whole time like on my hands, like I want to sing, but I'm not trying to like damage my voice further right now. So 
I'm gonna rest my voice and I will talk to you guys next time. Stay authentic in whatever you do and I will see you next time. Bye.